So the X-Men versus the Avengers. Guys, so this is an article that I saw earlier, um, right before this video, about possible Avengers versus the X-Men movie. Um, now I'm gonna read a little bit of this article for you guys so you guys can hear what's going on and then we'll talk a little bit about it. Let me just switch over to my scene right here. Cool. All right, actually, matter of fact, yeah, I'll just leave it here. I'll just read a little bit. This is from wegotdiscovered.com. They're, normally they're pretty trustworthy. Um, so they're saying that the Disney Fox deal is expected to close later this month. Marvel will soon be at liberty to bring the X-Men into the MCU. And since the whole reason why fans are excited about this development is the prospect of finally seeing the Marvel's mutants share the screen with the Disney roster. It figures that Kevin Feige and his team will have some crossover projects lined up. Um, in fact, according to a source close to We Got This Covered, an all-out Avengers vs. X-Men movie is currently on the cards. Though their their report didn't offer specific details, kind of it's kind of iffy when they say didn't offer spe specific details. Anyways, um, about the nature of the clash, and the source did add that Marvel Studios will begin building to it once the merger is complete. Um, that's pretty much what they're saying, guys, and that's pretty much what they're saying because they and they also just concluded saying that um, they're going to develop it very slowly because they don't want to give um, the characters too much to deal with since that they and the actors and and the this this disney in general because they had two movies in the span of two years so let's talk a little bit about that guys um x-men versus the avengers again not something officially confirmed um it's something spinning around it's, uh being discussed about a possibility i'd like to see it why not i mean I, i've definitely been you know wishing and dreaming for the x-men to join the MCU for a while now and seeing what stories they can make with that. So that's something that I've always wanted to see happen. Um, and now the deal is supposed to officially wrap up this month according to all the articles that I've been reading recently. Um, now, when will we see this? Obviously, we're not gonna see this within the next five years. That's, that's not something that's gonna happen right away. I think, did something fall down? Yeah, that's not something that's gonna happen right away, guys. That's That's, something that's going to take time to develop something that's going to take um you know time for casting and for also the story like where is the story going right now we have an end game coming up literally next month less than a month that's crazy that's crazy that's crazy we got end game coming up in about le no, not less than a month a little over a month and a half we got end game coming and we got to see what happens after that what's the phase going to be like Who's going to remain? Is everyone going to remain? Are we going to lose any characters? Are people going to die? And who do we have left? And what stories can we make with our remaining roster? That's what we need to worry about. Um, once that happens and, and Disney actually gets, uh, you know, everything cleared up and they start introducing mutants into the scene, then we could do things. I want them to so bad to proper. I want them to actually really introduce. Um, this would be a dream come true, personally. If they can introduce the real Storm, Aurora Monroe, right? Introduce her into Black Panther 2. That would be so dope, guys. Honestly, I would really love for them to do that. Um, because I, as I said in my uh, reaction to um, X-Men Dark Phoenix, I don't like the actor they chose for the Storm. I don't like the backstory they gave her. None of that, because it's not right to me. It, it, my, that's something I'm... I, that's something I'm very specific about. I'm very specific about major details and being from Kenya is a major detail for me. Um, not Storm is not from Egypt. Just because it's in Africa, don't mean you can put her anywhere. Even if they put her in Nigeria, I'd have been upset about that. She's from Kenya, make it from Kenya. There's a, there's a lot of significance about her being Kenyan and that's something that they need to, to, to do. So I hope Marvel can introduce, that's a personal thing for me, introduce Storm into Black Panther. I would love to see T'Challa and Storm actually, you know, I like Nakia. Nakia is cool, right? I love Lupita Nyong'o, but you gotta get Storm in there, man. That 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 that's the queen right there. That that that's his that's his wifey, man. That's how it's supposed to be. Um, but anyway, y'all, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below about the X Men versus Avengers. Is that something you want to see? Um, also possible fan casting, man. I have a I have a task for you guys. Let me know, and this is what I want every single one of you guys to do who's watching this video if you made it this far. Let me know in the comment section down below. I will answer you guys back. Let me know your lineup. Who who on the X-Men would you like to see facing the Avengers? So I want you to list at least 
four Avengers versus, you know what? Five Avengers versus five X-Men. And I want you to guys to, to give me your list and see who, who you want to put up against each other, man. That's going to be kind of fun to talk about in the comments. Anyways, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Clockmaster, out.